the way that I would suggest beginning in, uh, in your sense of color is to um, use a, a single uh, a single color and just draw with that. Um, sketch out basic um, forms and and play around with just what that one color feels like. That way it's not very intimidating. It's just one color. It's just a value scale in, in one particular color now. Um, I've got right now a, uh, a very low saturation uh, blue, a deep, deep indigo. I'm using a low saturation orange with it. And these are the uh, Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. Usable both as just color pencils or watercolor. Try to find a perfect complement or something that's very close to it. And you'll notice that as you layer up the colors, they create a nice silvery neutral. Um, which is exactly what you want. So you notice when I use the water on this that this looks like a silvery gray, which tells me that this is a very close complementary color match. When you go into your deeper color range, um, or your deeper value range, you're creating basically just a gray or a black. So it's not a big jump from what you've been doing in your drawing um, to use complementary colors. Um, it doesn't really matter which set of complementary colors that you pick. You can draw with one of these, do a layer. You can actually probably more or less complete the drawing with, uh, with one of the two complementary colors, the darker one, which is generally going to be the cooler one. Um, and then you can come back on top and you can lay the uh, other color over the entirety of the drawing and just shift everything completely in a really interesting way. Allowing you to bring uh, a different approach to this draw whatever it is that you want to draw, cone or something like that. And then just layer back and forth with your red and green. create some interesting mixtures here. Then you can always come back with your uh, binding lines, your contours if, if you want, and use counterintuitive contouring with the, uh, the complement. 